Hey guys, my name is Shubham K. Shrival and today I have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 with me as you can see over here and I have the Pixel ROM on this device running and I have been using this device with the Pixel ROM for about a week now and in this video I will be telling you guys about my experience with this ROM on this device and you can see a display over here which is showing exactly what is going on with my device right now so that you can have a better idea of what I am doing and yeah, if you have any interest in this ROM, the link will be in the description from where you can download this ROM. And again, I have many other videos about ROMs on the Redmi Note 3, Cyanogen Mod, Resurrection Remix ROM and many other ROMs on this device. And you can take a look at those ROMs on this channel in particular. I have made a playlist about it. I forgot the name of the playlist. I would link it over here in this card. So yeah, take a look at that and I'm sure that you would be having many more options to choose from if you are really looking for installing the perfect ROM for your device. Also I have made videos about unlocking the boot or root in the, the, the Redmi Note 3 and installing any custom ROM, the how to tutorial. So you can take a look at those videos too and that might also turn out to be really very helpful for you if you are just starting up with this ROM installation world. And many complaints that we have about a device running on a custom ROM running on the Redmi Note 3 is the fact that the camera application doesn't work. Well, that is not the case over here because the camera application works and it works almost perfectly. Now why I say almost is what we would be talking about right now. But for now I can say that the camera application works and it works really very nicely. So yeah, if you open the camera application, first of all, the shutter lag is way too much in the camera stills option. So in the MIUI, you had a shutter lag of about 0.5 seconds or something like you press the shutter button and about 0.5 seconds later, it would capture the photo. But over here, it is much larger. It is about two seconds of a gap and it is really, really, very annoying. So if I just press the shutter, you see, it takes a lot of time to just capture the photo and this was definitely not noticeable in the MIUI but over here it is way too noticeable and it is really really very annoying so yeah you should keep that in mind that the shutter lag is over there other than that the camera quality remains pretty much uh, average as what we saw in the MIUI versions and that doesn't change at all so talking about the video recording options you can pretty much record videos of course but what is the problem over here is that if you try to record in 4k what I'm trying right now it sometimes crashes the camera application crashes right now it is not crashing but sometimes it does and it is it it really becomes really very annoying so yeah the most important feature that we have over here and why many people were considering having this rom in the first place is the google assistant of course and though you can have the google assistant in redmi note 3's miui variant itself you can have the google assistant work really very nicely over here because it is all first party and it works like a charm right now i cannot demonstrate you live of what it can do but i would be rolling another clip in just about a second right after this sentence is complete but yeah right now i am recording the screen so the microphone is concentrated over there so i cannot just you know use the google assistant to use the microphone itself but yeah take a look at this clip and you would get a much better idea of what i am talking about so yeah, now I'm going to show you something about the Google Assistant and I'm going to trigger it right now and I'm going to try to just play around with it and show you guys exactly what uh, I mean when I say that it is really very capable of doing many many stuff. So yeah, let me trigger it and to trigger it I just have to say, OK Google, show me some stats from tomorrow's match of India. It's going to take its time. Okay Google, open the website. So yeah, I can do this and this means that it actually follows up on whatever you said like I, I in the previous conversation in the previous sentence I said about the India versus England match the tomorrow's match and in the later conversation it kind of picks up on that and just shows me like when I said that open the website it related to the previous post and just open the website for what I actually meant in the previous post so that is really very cool another very cool thing that I wanted to show you is what I'm going to demonstrate right now and that's that okay Google Take a photo. So when I say this, you would notice that it would take a photo of the rear facing camera. You see, but when I say, okay, Google, take a selfie.
So you see what I'm saying? It knows the basic difference between a selfie and a photo. Impressive, right? I know the Google Assistant is really very capable, and I'm really very, very impressed by how it works. Another feature of the Pixel UI, which is present over here, is related to the long press shortcut option, and that is that if you go into the app drawer and if you just select any application, which is the inbuilt application. So, for example, let me just try Drive, and if I just tap and hold over it, you can see I have three options over here: search, scan, and upload. And these are shortcuts. But again, this ROM is not perfect. And one of the main cons of this ROM is the RAM management. If I go into the settings and just show you guys how much RAM is available, um, you would be disappointed. So now I have the 2 GB RAM model of the Redmi Note 3, but I'm pretty sure with the Redmi Note 3's 3 GB RAM model, the results aren't going to be drastic. And that you will be seeing almost the same RAM availability. So over here, you can see out of the 1.8 GB available, we have 1.5 GB already using and that means that we are left with only 306 MB of free virtual storage which is really very less that means that multitasking just forget about it on this ROM I have tried just playing two applications in the background and even they were crashing as soon as I turned those applications off and returned to the home screen so definitely this ROM is not for you if you are a heavy multitasker and you should just forget about having this ROM in particular for your device at all but other than that if you are a casual user like me and don't like run multiple applications in the background of course you can have this application and it most probably would work really very nicely for you so yeah that's pretty much it and in the last i can just say that subscribe to this channel if you are interested in more wrong videos about the Redmi Note 3 or any of the other gadgets that i would be reviewing on this channel in particular that being said my name is shubham kejriwal thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one